ConvertKit is an email marketing tool specifically designed for creators. We're talking people like bloggers and YouTubers. This means it's easy to use and they have a free plan. So that's what we're focusing on today. First, let's talk about what ConvertKit's free plan includes and what some of the benefits are. So you can use ConvertKit for free for up to 1,000 subscribers, and they even give you access to several of their features. You can create unlimited landing pages, forms, and broadcasts. You can tag and segment your audiences. You can sell digital products and subscriptions, and you'll have access to community support. Not bad for a free tool, but there are drawbacks. You cannot set up automated email sequences, which means you have to send out emails manually, which is not scalable. You cannot score your subscribers. There's no visual automation builder. You won't have access to any third-party integrations like Squarespace, Teachable, or Shopify. And if you're currently using another email tool, you cannot migrate for free. You will have no advanced reporting capabilities, which you will eventually need, and you can't add team members. To access all of these things, you have to upgrade to at least the Creator Plan, if not Creator Pro, which we'll come back to in just a second. So, is ConvertKit worth trying for free? Yeah, it's pretty cool and it's so user-friendly. However, where you have to be really careful is what happens when your list really starts to grow. That's why a conversation about the free plan wouldn't really be complete without talking about the paid plans at least a little bit. Now, I already told you what additional features you'll get if you upgrade, but what does the cost look like? Well, like many email marketing tools, ConvertKit bases this on the number of subscribers that you have. Let's say you stick with the free plan until you hit 1,000 subs, at which point you have to upgrade. For Creator, you're looking at $29 a month, and Creator Pro is $59 a month, and it just keeps increasing from there. Once you hit 5,000 subs, Creator and Creator Pro are $79 a month and $111 a month, respectively. If you pay annually, it does come out to getting two months for free, so there is that. And the part that kind of rubs me the wrong way is that as your subscriber count grows, ConvertKit automatically starts charging you more, and unless you're keeping track of this yourself, you will not know about it until they invoice you. Is it shady? No, I wouldn't call it that. They state the pricing right on their website, but it's also not the greatest surprise. My point is to make sure that you're proactive in monitoring how many subs you have because ConvertKit, as cool as it is, can get expensive and catch you off guard. So there's a trade-off here. ConvertKit is super easy to use and really good for creators, but once you start to grow a really substantial list, you're looking at a fairly hefty price tag. And the users are saying similar things on G2. People love that it's fast and so easy to set up and use, but a common complaint is the price. That's one of the biggest downsides to so many of these tools. There's no end in sight when it comes to the pricing. It's just going to keep costing you more and more unless you use something like EngageBay. Now, EngageBay is an all-in-one sales, marketing, and customer support suite of tools. The most all-encompassing plan still costs less than $100 a month for unlimited contacts, so it doesn't matter how many subs you have. If you're only looking to use the CRM, for your email marketing, for less than $80 a month, you get 30,000 contacts. I did the math, and for the same number of contacts with ConvertKit's creator plan, you're going to be paying over $200 a month. EngageBay has a forever free tier, so you can test the waters before you commit. I'm going to drop that link in the description below. And if you want to learn more about ConvertKit, we do have a couple more videos on this, which I'm also linking to in the description below. That's all for today. It was a quick one. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss our new content, and we'll see you next time.